everybody, Matthew here with my magical WDW shopper and we're taking a break from Disney and we are at Legoland Florida which is over in Winter Haven which is about an hour away from the Walt Disney World Resorts and we found some awesome things to do here. It's super family friendly resort, really fun rides, uh, great entertainment for everybody and we're going to go in and check out the big shop which has all of the Lego that you are gonna wanna purchase. So I've already walked through, there's a lot of really cool sets, so let's go check out the store and see some Lego. Like I said earlier, their shop, their main shop is called The Big Shop and it is Lego Central. There are so many Lego sets here to be purchased. They even have the new Tiger Lego set, which is actually created by the Lego Masters who won season two of Lego Masters, a TV show on Fox. If you have not watched that show, I highly recommend it. It is amazing. It's so fun to watch and it's like re, um, renewed my love for Lego. And there is some Disney sets here. There are some Star Wars sets here. There's um, Ninjago, there's the city. So we'll take a look at the Disney stuff first and kind of make our way around the store just to so can see everything. So look at all these amazing sets. So these are like $49.99 for some of these. And then some of them are a little bit more expensive in the $100 range or $200 range, but they have a lot of amazing sets as you can see. So this is a little off the beaten path for most of the people that are going to Walt Disney World, but if you can make a day to Legoland, it's honestly, it's pretty reasonably priced um, in terms of getting into the park and their annual passes are really, really well priced. So they have these little sketches. These are really cute. They're just nice and small. They're $20, they're 120 pieces. And then they have these picture options. So you can do Minnie or Mickey, as you can see here. So there's Minnie. So you have two, so you can pull it apart and rebuild it as you want. So two images, really cool. Has a soundtrack option, that's awesome. And that goes for 120. So something like that is $120. And they have the Winnie the Pooh Bear set, comes with all of the mini figures from Winnie the Pooh. I love this set. I think it's really cute. That uh, beautiful treehouse build. It's really cool, really unique. Now that's $100 for a set like that. So some Lego sets can be a little bit pricey as we know, some of those larger sets, but they do have minions as well for our friends who, over at Universal who love the minions. Lots of really cool stuff there. And then they have space sets for Mickey and Minnie. They've got beach sets with Minnie and Daisy. Really cool fire truck sets. Really great Lego builds. And then as you saw earlier, we before I kind of moved around, was all the Frozen sets. So you have Bruni the Salamander. We have this little set here with uh, Anna, Princess Anna, Princess Elsa, and the little snowman there. This is super cute. Lots of fun. And then you can get the big Arendelle, not the Arendelle castle, the Frozen castle. Comes with all of the minifigures, Anna, Elsa, um, and Olaf. So very cute, but yeah, you can build that whole thing right there. Really cool. So they have just like other just really cool sets, like Queer Eye Lego sets, or these creator sets are really awesome. I love those. They have tons of those here. Sesame Street even as well. And Harry Potter, we'll see that. The typewriter creator set, very cool. And the haunted house down there. Now they have some of these that are pre-built so you can see them. Like over here, the space shuttle. Very cool. So you can actually build the Space Shuttle Discovery. You actually buy this set over at um, Kennedy Space Center as well. We went out there um, just after New Year's. And the, here is some Harry Potter stuff as you all love Harry Potter. We love Harry Potter as well in our family. Um, lots of really great sets here. We have the Quidditch set. We have the castle with the Whomping Willow, another castle, Astronomy Tower. So you can buy all of them and make your very own. Now this one's really cool. There is a pre-build of this that I can show you with Harry Potter and Hermione. Um, they are really big figures. They're really cool and privet drive. So you can create your own Harry Potter universe. Now these are really cool. These are these little books and these are Hogwarts moments. So this is potions class. And if you look at it, it opens up and there are different little, like a whole set that you can do and display on the inside. So it's the potions. Very, very cool. So it comes with Harry, Malfoy and Snape. And then we have uh, Posh, not potions, we have Herbology, which comes with Cedric, Neville, and Professor Sprout. Very cool. So they have a whole plethora of that kind of stuff as well. Now there's some more minions, Rise of Gru. Love that. We have some uh, 
Marvel sets as well. So we have Infinity got Infinity Saga sets. Look at that. We've got uh, uh, br they're calling this Bro Thor. So this is Thor's house in New Asgard, where he's eating pizza, hanging out with his buddies. We've got the Black Panther Dragon Flyer. Very cool. Comes with uh, Black Panther Shuri and the Chutari vehicle and then the Eternals which honestly I watched that movie for the first time the other day and I was not impressed um, probably the most least memorable uh, Marvel movie in my opinion but you get all of the Eternals as well and then the Affinity Saga we get the Guardian ship and it comes with all um, not all the Guardians but Rocket, Star-Lord, Groot, Mantis, Thor and a Chutari interesting that it comes with a Chutari you think it'd come with every everybody from um, the Guardian ship and then there's some different Technic builds. So they've already released a Batman merchandise, which is really cool. So this is from the new Batman movie, which is called titled The Batman, which will be out in March. Very cool. So here we've got a Batcave, the Riddler face-off. So Batman and the Riddler facing off, and you get all of these minifigs that come with it. So that's really cool. And then some other mini sets here. So the mini sets are, are pretty reasonably priced, I think. I don't see a price on this one. But I think those are like $15, $20 for the smaller sets. And obviously as you get up into the larger sets, they're, you know, 100, 120 plus. Now check this out, the Republic Gunship. This thing is amazing. It's $350, but man, that's one of those sets that you put together once and you display it somewhere in your house just like this. So it's really cool. I think it's a really, really great looking Lego build. Now, would I buy something like that? Unfortunately, no, because I just don't have anywhere to put it. That's the problem that I'm having with all the cool Lego stuff that you can buy, is that I have no idea what I would do with all this stuff. I have no idea where I'd put it. I have no idea. Um, yeah, I just don't have anywhere to, to display it, which is part of the reason why I have not bought these other items over here. Then they do have the Ultimate Collector Series. They have the Imperial Star Destroyer. They have the new At-At, and they have the Millennium Falcon. I think those are like seven, seven fifty, eight hundred dollars $800. I mean, they are not cheap. They are big sets they take up a lot of space they don't have any of those on display right now but they are really cool now they do have mickey and minnie as well these are buildable characters they're nice and large mickey's got a guitar minnie's got flowers and it comes with a camera and a little picture book and it goes for 179.99 now i love these creator sets because they have so many different options they have these the camper vans they have the grand piano they have the typewriter, like these are all really cool. And then even the NASA Apollo 11 lunar lander. I mean, that is just really, really cool build. And check this out, we'll see these again here, but the Batwing, that's 2,363 pieces. For an example though, the Imperial is 4,784, that's 6,785 pieces and this bad boy is 7,541 pieces. Now, if you've been to the Lego store at Disney Springs, you will see that, or you used to see it on display. Not sure how much you see it on display anymore, but still a really cool set. Now, some of my favorite sets over here are the Super Mario sets. Now, look at this. Bowser's Castle, $100. You get to build a Bowser. Comes with different characters. Then we have different characters over here. Adventures with Mario, that's $60. And as you can see, just tons of really cool options. But this is my favorite one. Look at that. It is a Nintendo Entertainment System build. It's 2,646 pieces. And I think it, I don't know what the price is, but they pro, let's see, let me see what they see over here. They do have little cheat sheets that tell you how much things cost. So let's see if I can find it real quick. It's probably one of the more expensive things on here and I don't see it. Hmm. Now the question block is 169. That it is, the Super Mario 64 question block. So you can build one of those. I mean, that's just really cool. But here's all the other Harry Potter stuff. So you can build Diagon Alley. Look at this. Like this is so cool. That's the entire set. And look at all the characters you get with it too. Like that's nuts. That's like almost the entire those are almost all the characters that you want, right? Like, very cool. And then they have Hogsmeade as well. So really, you can maybe build your own Harry Potter universe. Now the coolest one that I think is the crest. So you can you buy this and it, you can build any of the four crests. So if you're a Ravenclaw, if you've taken the Pottermore test, you can build your Ravenclaw or Gryffindor, Hufflepuff or Slytherin. Very cool set. And something like that I believe is a hundred bucks. But here is those Harry Potter and Hermione stands. Now, those things are probably about a foot tall, if I had to guess, 10 inches, 10, 11 inch. They're very big. And that's that set once again. So, like I said, you can build your own Harry Potter universe completely 
and I know my brother almost has built his very own. He's built quite a few of them for himself. Um, I don't know if he has all of them, but he's got a bunch. Now, here is the small, if you don't wanna get the really giant one, here's the smaller one. It's uh, 1,267 piece. Now I did see someone post a TikTok or a, um, it was a TikTok or YouTube video, but the size comparison, this thing fits underneath the other, other one. And uh, you get one, two, three, four, six characters with it. So you get two drivers, two snow troopers, and you get Luke Skywalker. So really cool set, nice and big, probably a little bit more manageable for those people that aren't wanting to get something overly massive. And then they've got these little brick heads. These are super fun, the Mandalorian with Grogu slash Baby Yoda slash the child, depending on who you talk to and ask about <laughs> what his name is. And then this little section over here is the Star Wars section. So there's all lots of Star Wars things over here. Got these really cool little helmets that are like kind of these collectible uh, displays that you can put up. We've got the Bad Batch attack shuttle. Very cool. So you get the whole Bad Batch there. You got the Imperial light cruiser from the Mandalorian. It comes with Grogu, uh, the Mandalorian, Cara Dune, Fennec. Moth and a dark trooper. Very cool. But yeah, there's lots of really fun little builds like this. So the mini Razor Crest people, these are really cool. These like mini builds. They actually have a mini Millennium Falcon as well. And I'll show that. These are only $10. So you, it's basically 100 pieces is 10 bucks, basically what it boils down to. So we have different sets over here as well. Some trouble on Tatooine. So it's another Mandalorian with a Tusken Raider and the child. We've got a Mandalorian Starfighter up here. We have the smaller Millennium Falcon, which is still a really cool build. And these are all the characters it comes with there here. So very, very cool. Comes with Dio for whatever reason. That seems to be a bit odd, but we'll, we'll go with it. And then we have um, other sets down here. As you can see the Hoth ATST. I don't even remember those being at Hoth, but I know they were on, uh, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank. Endor, there we go, my God. Okay, so we have a resistance transport vehicle. We got another ATST Raider from, um, oh my gosh. Oh wait, so this is actually from the Mandalorian. So this is the, one of the newer ones. So this comes with Mandalorian, Cara Dune, and a couple of the Raiders. So that's from one of that season one episode. And then a Dio over there. But here's some of the cool builds that you can do as they're fully built. This R2-D2 is really amazing. It is $200 for that. And here are more of those helmets that you can build. Just really unique, cool displays that you can put up in your office or your home. And then some of the smaller things that you can build, like these, like this is fun. It's an at, at and a Tauntaun Micro Fighters. Those are really cute. So something like that, it's 200 pieces, goes for $20. So yeah, but 100 pieces gets you like about 10 bucks. So this is 101 pieces for that mini uh, Millennium Falcon with Han Solo. We got an Imperial TIE Fighters. We have Y-Wings. Very cool, we have the Grogu and the Yoda set. Now I do have the Yoda set, that was a really fun build. That took, took me a while, I watched all, like two and a half Star Wars movies doing it. Luke's, Luke's uh, land speeder going for $30. Unfortunately, Anakin's uh, Jedi Interceptor is out of stock right now. I mean, there's just lots of really, really great sets over here. We have the full-size Razor Crest up there, an Imperial, sh an Imperial Shuttle the Death Star final duel between Luke and Vader. That's a cool piece. Love that. Very cool. And then over here, we do have Luke's X-Wing fighter. And I think this was like 50 bucks. Yeah, $50, $49.99. Very cool stuff. So like I said, this is a really great place. There's tons of amazing pieces that you can buy here. Knights of Ren transport ship. There's that Razor, uh, not the Razor Crest, but there is the Republic gunship down there. So like I said, there's, there's R2-D2 right there in the box. They do have some Marvel stuff as well, which is always cool to see. So we have Spider-Man. So Miles, Miles Morales, Spider-Man and uh, Doc Ock with a their like suit battle. You can even get a little uh, Captain America Beanie Baby. Very cool, but this is the cool one. I was pretty pumped when I saw this. The Tumblr, the Batmobile from the Dark Knight Trilogy. Woo. And then we have Batmobile from um, uh, the Lego Batman movie, which was a super great movie. I loved that. We even got Wonder Woman 1984, the Batman cowl, and there's that Technic again. So over here, we have more Technic pieces, um, more Technic sets. I mean, you can get that. There's that awesome Lamborghini 
Oh man, that thing is so cool. They even have a Ford Mustang. This is out of stock, unfortunately, but look at how big that thing is. And it moves. That's the cool part. So over here, that Batwing again, more Eternal stuff. And then here we have some more of the Infinity Saga. So you have Iron Man. Let's see, what else do we have? We have the Endgame battle with uh, Thanos' ship. Comes with Iron Man, Captain Marvel, and Thanos for minifigs. So yeah, lots of cool. We got even Shang-Chi over here. The dragon, very cool. Lots of really, really great pieces to be bought. And even Black Widow over here, the helicopter chase scene. Comes with Black Widow, Yelena, and Taskmaster. Oh, look at this, even here. So this is kind of cool. So this is just, uh, you, get, you get a bunch of different pieces and you can build a bunch of different things with it. That's kind of cool. That's 16 bucks, 16, 17 dollars. Very cool stuff. Little Iron Man display that you can build as well. So, like I said, this is really just a really cool store. I mean, I, I, it's hard not to it's like to show you everything in here. It's such a such a wonderful place to to buy different Lego sets. Um, now, in terms of like buying by the brick, they do have another store that is just a little bit away from this, just like up and out a little bit, where you can buy like by the brick or you can buy by the pound. Look at that, you can even buy the friend's apartments. That's hilarious. So you can get Monica's apartment and Joey's apartment. That's hilarious for our, fan, our fans of friends, the stadium, the NASA Discovery, the International Space Station, lots of great stuff. Now I'm gonna show you the um, Harry Potter build the Diagon Alley build. We have uh, the sorting hat here. This is just a fun little display with Harry and Hermione. And here is the Diagon Alley build. Now this is $3.99, but look how many pieces you get. You get a lot and there is a ton of detail in this. And even on the inside, so on the outside, I'm like, let me see if you can see the inside. So on the back side, there's stuff that you can do inside of each building. So it's a very, very cool set. Now $3.99 is a little expensive in my opinion, but you get a lot of pieces and you get a lot to do and you get a lot of minifigures. So it's a really cool set. Unfortunately, just $3.99 is a bit of a stretch. It is, it is a little expensive, I will say that. But, you know, you're looking at, you know, 100, 100 bricks for 10 bucks. So you can imagine that once you get above a thousand bricks, they get really expensive. They have a chess seat that's even playable, so you can play chess. Then they have just different merchandise as well. So you can get hats, you can get happy birthday signs because Legoland's celebrating their 10th anniversary here in Florida. And they have Legoland exclusive. So you can build your very own Legoland and your very own uh, amusement park rides, which is really cool. And that goes for $9.99, $100 for that. And other little things like the Ninjago world or what have you. And here's what it looks like when it's built. Isn't that cool? I love it. I have had such a great day today. It's been really fun and I will definitely be coming back because we bought annual passes. They were a really good deal. When I looked at annual passes versus day tickets, it was a no brainer. So even if you just want like a little idea set, it comes with a bunch of different pieces. If you just feel like building, I got one of these. Brittany bought me that for our, our second wedding anniversary. She bought me a little, not one of those specifically, but a bigger set where I could uh, just kind of build when I was bored or sitting by the couch. But yeah, Lots of really cool things here where you can buy different pieces, different classic sets with a bunch of different bricks. They even have a little section over here where they talk about the history of Lego and how it came to be, which is really cool. Absolutely love that. So yeah, this is what she bought me for. Um, I think it's this piece right here. That's what she bought me for our wedding anniversary. And I was super happy. And that's when, right when um, the first Lego Masters had come out and I was like just obsessed. And so I was building Lego like uh, wanting to build it all the time and of course you know it was right at the start of the pandemic and there was nothing to do so people were buying lego at home and uh bringing it and building it because they had nothing else to do so we bought a bunch of sets we had a really fun time doing it so lots of different little storage brick containers so you can get the different lego heads they have backpacks for kids they have t-shirts so what are these so t-shirts here are 24.99 so pretty good deal as well. And if you are a annual pass holder, you get 10% off. They have lots of really cool keychains as well. Different keychain midi figs. And there are people looking at that right now. So I will come back to it. But yeah, 
I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you guys love Lego as much as I love building Lego because I have had such a good time um, rediscovering something that I loved to do as a kid and rebuilding and wanting to build more and more. So this is really cool. So these are mini fig um, keychains and these are, how much are these little guys? They don't say, I imagine they're like 10 bucks, but they have Star Wars, they have Stormtroopers, Yoda, Mandalorian, BB-8. As you can see, I don't need a commentary on all of them, but they have lots of really cool, and they got minions, they have Lego friends, they've got Venom, uh, Wonder Woman, Batman even, very cool. Love that, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Captain Marvel. I don't have a Captain America one though. They got Thanos, and then they got just generic Lego land ones, as well as Frozen, or just a brick even. Very cool, Harry Potter, the three main characters, a shark, a cactus. So this $5.99 for the Cactus Boy. Those are all hilarious, those are so fun. And then they have bigger ones as well. So you can see they have some bigger ones. And then they have the friends, the f Joey, Ross, Chandler, Rachel, Phoebe, and Monica. Very cool stuff. But yeah, super fun little shop, lots of stuff to do. Great, great place to take your family when you're coming on vacation. You can even be, you know, you can even be, uh, Oh my God, you can even be Emmett for, for Halloween. Why not? Or uh, or you can be, what's what was her name? Lucy, Emmett and Lucy. Very cool. But yeah, I highly recommend it if you guys are going to come down for vacation to come to the Lego Legoland, spend a day here. It's a lot quieter than the other parks. Now is it as um, crazy as the other parks? Um, with rides, no, not really, but it is still a really amazing place. Like you can see here, not a ton of people here. The ride times were reasonable. Um, the, are the rides as cool as Universal or as Disney? No, but if you love Lego, you're gonna have a fun day here. You don't need to spend a whole day here. There's lots to do down here in Winter Haven. It's a really fun town to check out all the little shops and check out all the little thrift stores. So, highly recommend it. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. There's a big old build of Ray and Chewbacca, life size. They look amazing. So I hope you all had a wonderful time watching the big shop video from Legoland. And thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next video.